Ah, good morning. It is Friday morning, and it is August the 28th is the date, and I am on the Pine Mountain Trail in Georgia, and I'm only going to hike just a short distance. Um, my wife and I are over here in Warm Springs, Georgia <clears throat> for the weekend, and so we're so close to this trail. It's one that I've kind of wanted to hike on several times. I've thought about it and looked into it, but had never done it. But uh, since we were over here, I thought I'd give it a shot. So I'm just going to hike a small section. Um, I believe it's between mile marker 12 and about 15 or 16. That's the section I'm going to do. Uh, if you're looking at the map, I'm trying out a new pack that I've got here. I don't know if you can see that, but I actually made that pack. That was an adventure. But uh, I had been reading about it, thought I'd give it a shot. So I made this and I've got it loaded with not everything I would use for an overnight, but not really any food to speak of. So pretty lightweight load. But I just want to see how it rides. So, so I'm giving that a shot. So far, so good. So back in 2011, summer of 2011, there was a pretty significant tornado. They came through here and pretty much completely closed the trail down. I mean, just very significant damage throughout here. Um, so the Volunteer Association uh, for the Pine Mountain Trail had about 120 volunteers worked for, I want to say, a couple of years cleaning this place up. Of course, you can still see, I mean, there's trees that are now they cleared up the trail itself but there's still trees and remnants from that storm but they worked really hard to get everything back open and uh did a real good job there's several campsites along the trail designated spots and you do have to stay in the designated campsites and you have to register i'm not staying overnight so i didn't uh look into all that but but you do have to register if you're going to stay overnight and if you are uh, parking you have to get a parking pass my wife dropped me off so didn't have to worry with that but there's a little more uh, paperwork involved with coming over here to hike but it's not not bad but uh, so far it's been a really nice trail Alright, so this is the Bethel Creek campsite, which is one that was, actually there was a sign further back. It was relocated from back that way down to here because the, the location was not ideal, but uh, they moved it down here. It's well established. Um, got a fire pit there even, but a nice open area, water source is right there, that little creek, and it actually widens up right back over there for uh, water. This is uh, just just past milepost 13 uh, is where you find this. Maybe, I don't know, 100 yards, if that. Milepost 13 was back up that way. And Bethel Creek. The trail's really well marked. You know, these little, these little markers give you, uh, you know, where the water source is, where they call water sources. And then of course this one for the campsite. So the blazes are pretty good. Uh, 
they don't look like they're super fresh but they're definitely not a problem spotting them they're blue this trail is blazed in blue there's some, apparently some some loop trails that they've added in to do some connectivity to do some loops um, that are white blazed trails I hadn't come across one yet but I believe I'll see one up the trail a bit but these this trail the Pine Mountain Trail is blazed in blue All right, so here's one of those intersections I was telling you about. So I just came from up that way and Pine Mountain Trail goes that way, which I just came from. Bethel Creek campsite is where we just looked at. And I'm gonna keep going this way. And Daddle Knob is probably one of the lookouts I'm gonna to try to get to take a look at there's another campsite 3.8 miles that way but then behind me here is the Daddle Knob loop trail which goes that way so you can take that and turn this into a loop it'll come by it'll go uh, let's see 2.9 miles I think is what it says it's a uh, seven tenths of a mile to Daddle Knob Road and then 1.3 miles You'll come back around and you'll hit the Pine Mountain Trail at milepost 16.4. So that's a loop you could do if you wanted to go that way. That's one of the white blazes there, you see. So they've got this really well marked and uh, super well maintained trail. This is supposed to be Elephant Rock. So I guess if you, if you sat here and looked at it long enough, maybe it resembles the elephant, the trunk there in the middle. Hmm. I don't know. But that's what the sign said. So that's Elephant Rock. So right here in this in this area here on the side of the mountain back in 1953 there was a plane crash of a US Air Force TB 25J crash here it's traveling from Eglin Air Force Base to Andrews Air Force Base there were four people that died in the crash and then a fifth one that died here uh, apparently after the crash I don't know maybe he was injured and and then died later after the crash. But there was a 19-year-old passenger from New Jersey that did actually survive, so there was one survivor. Um, the passenger, uh, I didn't list, uh, didn't list the uh, passenger's name that survived. But uh, in 2012, on Veterans Day weekend, they put this plaque, the daughter of the pilot, and uh, a Mr. Schmidt. Oh, okay. And Mr. Schmidt was an airman, U.S. Navy airman, who survived. So he and the daughter of the pilot that was killed unveiled this plaque in 19 or 2012 Veterans Day weekend. All right. This is the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Memorial Trail National Scout Trail. Heading up to Dowdle's Knob and the parking lot. There's a parking area of Dowdle's Knob. This was a Eagle Scout project there. If you want to get some history on the trail, there's pinemountaintrail.org website. There's another 
uh, sign. Apparently, the original Eagle Scout that did this was back in 1974, a Mark Schultz. Uh, and then apparently they have redone this. It's a replica of the original 1974 signage was done. In 2018, they redid this. Yeah, this looks a lot newer than 1974. But, uh, so Cody Knight was the Boy Scout, or Eagle Scout that headed that up for his Eagle Scout project. All right, so let's head up to Dowdle's Knob and see what it takes, see what it takes, where this takes us and what it looks like. So this was, uh, FDR's favorite picnic spot. For those of you who don't know, FDR uh, started the New Deal program during his presidency that uh, put a whole bunch of people to work uh, trying to recover from some of the Depression era. And uh, those people went to work doing a lot of work in what has now become most of our state parks and national parks. Uh, the New Deal program um, the Civilian Conservation Corps was established and the men that, and uh, I guess the women, I don't know, probably mostly it was probably men that worked, did most of the work, but they built most of the state parks and the cabins and a lot of these stone cabins, especially down in this area in Georgia and Alabama that you see were all put together um, as a, what came out of the New Deal program in the Civilian Conservation Corps. So Roosevelt was really enjoyed the outdoors and this was one of his favorite favorite spots to, to visit I can see why this was FDR's favorite picnic spot. Beautiful, beautiful spot. That's a grill that apparently he had this grill built. He'd come out here and picnic and uh, they filled it in to keep people from using it. But I thought I'd sit down here with uh, FDR for a few minutes and enjoy the view. Not often that you get to hang out with a former president and enjoy the overlook here. It's currently upper 80s, mid 80s, temperature wise. So it's not too bad. It's been overcast, so not a whole lot of sun. I only walked about two and a half miles, so it wasn't bad. The pack did pretty good. I guess uh, for a two and a half mile walk. So I liked it good enough that um, I will probably try to build another one with a couple of more modifications. I'm not 100% sure I like the straps, but I, I'm thinking about them. But uh, it carried pretty well. I don't have a full load in it. Uh, I only had a little bit of snacks for food and only about a liter of water, which is about what I normally use so I'll give the pack a thumbs up for now. Alright, I'm gonna hang out here for a few more minutes. My wife's gonna pick me up here shortly and uh enjoy the view here with uh FDR so appreciate y'all coming along. Hope you enjoyed the uh the views on the trail. Wasn't a whole lot of it but uh it's a little section of it hopefully enough to give you an idea of what it's like. It's definitely, the section I travel, is definitely not as uh, rough as what I think some of the sections in Ch Chiha are, but um, but it was enough to, to make it challenging and uh, several pretty good views along this whole section. 
but it's 20 miles of it total, so I've only just cracked the surface of it, so really what I did today was not enough to tell much about the trail, but from what I saw, I enjoyed. What do you think? I think he likes it too.